The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need, and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest, and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this memorial of St. Berard and companion martyrs. These are the proto-martyrs, the first martyrs of the Franciscan order who were martyred even while St. Francis was still alive. The entry for today in the Roman Martyrology reads, January 16th, near the city of Morocco in Mauritania, northern Africa. The passion of the saints and martyrs Berard, Otto, Peter, priests, Accursius and Adiutus, religious brothers, from the order of minors, who were sent by St. Francis to announce the gospel of Christ to the Muslims. They began in Spain and then were led to Morocco, there where the king ordered them to be killed by the sword. So we have three priests and two religious brothers, and when St. Francis found out that they had died for the faith, he said, finally I can say that I have some true friars minor. So this blood martyrdom was actually the ideal for St. Francis, is something that he desired for himself, but that God didn't grant. In fact, there was another brother who was sent with this group of five, uh, but he actually got sick on the way. So we see how we're not all called to blood martyrdom. Um, that depends on God and his providence. But for St. Francis, it was the ideal, which means that, at least for us Franciscan friars, that we should all have the will of the martyr. That is, we should be ready and willing and even desiring to, in fact, shed our blood for the sake of Christ and the gospel for the salvation of souls. So this is certainly a great grace, something we should pray for and strive to uh, acquire in our prayer and meditation. And uh, we ask our Holy Father, St. Francis, and these holy martyrs to pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.